Hi, I'm Shelly Young, owner of The Chopping Block, and today I'm going to teach you how to roast a pepper. Uh, we're going to roast red peppers today, but you can use the same method for poblano peppers, Anaheim peppers, even a jalapeno if you want to char a pepper for your salsa or anything like that. Uh, the first step in this is to, to oil the pepper a little bit. I'm going to use grapeseed oil today. You can use olive oil or whatever you have, but I generally find it's kind of a waste to use an expensive olive oil on something like this, when really the reason for it is not flavor, but just to con conduct the heat. Um, we're going to oil it lightly and get in all these crevices. You know, peppers can be a little bit gnarly, and it helps to conduct the heat and uh, blister the skin all throughout the pepper. So just put a little bit on your hand and just rub it all over. So we're going to put our uh, peppers right over this open gas flame and let it go for a while. I just keep rotating it and charring it at all si on all sides. The point here is to blister the skin and really char it so the char, um, so I can remove that char. Um, and after they're thoroughly charred, I'm going to put them in a bowl and I'm going to cover them with a uh, saran wrap and let the pepper finish cooking in, in that bowl. The steam and the heat inside the pepper will continue to cook it. And you leave it for you know, a couple of hours until it's, it's nice and tender. If you don't have a gas flame like this, you can also do this in the oven under the broiler. Uh, simply turn on the broiler, put them on a sheet pan. Make sure you do that to, cap to catch the juices. And rotate the pepper um, occasionally in, underneath the broiler. And then into the bowl with a saran wrap in the same method. So we charred these. It took about you know, 10 or 15 minutes. These were pretty big peppers. Sometimes they take a little bit less. Um, you know, I've gotten most of the surface of the pepper. Usually there's a little bit around the, the stem and around the base that are hard to get at. But uh, we'll let these sit and continue to steam in this bowl until they're tender. Then we'll peel them. So, I've let the pepper set for a couple of hours. A lot of times I just do this, I do this overnight. Sometimes I'm in a hurry. I'll, I won't let it set that long. But what I'm really looking for is that the peppers are tender. And then what we're going to do is start peeling away the charred skin from the pepper. Uh, temptation here is to rinse this under water because it's a whole lot faster to remove the seeds and the this charred skin, but uh, it really rinses away the wonderful juice of the pepper and flavor. So I just do this all by hand, pulling the stem out, pulling the seeds out. So I've peeled and seeded my peppers and they're ready to go. I put them in the fridge in a Ziploc baggie or Tupperware. Um, they're great in, you know, your pastas and your salads, uh, uh, croquettas, or even on a sandwich. Uh, but now you know how to roast a pepper.